the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to. Uh, back up your save data by using a USB drive either if it's a 2.0 or 3.0 as long as it's uh, formatted from FAT32 or XFAT um, then you are essentially good to go the way how you could check if your USB is on FAT32 or formatted as on XFAT go ahead on your PC plug in your USB go ahead and right click on your USB drive and look into properties and then from there once you look into properties it will uh, tell you and display if your thing is formatted on FAT32 or XFAT. If it's formatted to NTFS, what you want to do is go ahead and back up all your data on that USB drive since when you because you're going to need to format it. So go ahead and if dump all your files on another USB drive or buy a new one. But in this case, uh, all you would have to do is go ahead and right click on your USB drive again and hit quick format and then you want to choose whatever of your or what preference you want to have your save data either saved on XFAT or US or FAT32 so just either choose FAT32 or XFAT it really doesn't matter and then once you quit or hit click format or quick format excuse me then you're good to go but with that being said since I'm on the PlayStation 4 now as you see on the screen I'll show you where to go to get your save data so now once you go in your set settings you want to go to this option called application save data management go ahead and click on that click on the first option that says save data and system storage and then from there go to copy to usb storage device depending on how many games and how many game save data saves you have it could take either from you know 30 seconds to a minute i have a bunch of games on this playstation 4 i think roughly almost 400 plus uh, title so I may have like a bunch of save data as you probably see in the screen it's saying please wait But it all depends on how much games you have on your hard drive So you may have like, you know 10 or 20 games and maybe it'll load faster But for me, I have well over a hundred Plus ps4 titles. I know I have over uh, Like a, a lot of PlayStation 4 titles, so it's going to take maybe a while But once it boots up on the screen, I'll show you the steps. Oh, so it already did so for example, let's say it showcases all your save data. I think it's not even in alphabetical order, but there's other methods on how to pull it. So let's say if I want, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 save data. All I have to do is click enter, click all, all the saves that I want from that game, and then just go ahead and copy. But let's say if I want to do, you know, multiple games. So let's say if I want to select all my games and try to copy it, it will basically copy everything from my USB storage and overwrite data that I already have on it so if I wanted to do that and I could press apply to all and press yes I'm not gonna do that because I'm not too sure what save data I have on this flash drive but that's essentially the way on how to basically put your save data onto a USB drive so yep as I said before if you guys love my content or you know want to leave a like or comment down below go ahead and please subscribe and also hit that notification button to see when I have new videos out because I just don't you know do all modding videos I still want to you know dabble in just with regular gaming tutorials and tips for the PlayStation Legacy series with that being said my name is Nagato and I'm signing out thank you guys for watching